Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achono. Welcome to another video. So I'm at the top of Mount Feldberg at the moment. It's a little mountain here in Germany in Schwarzwald. View is pretty good. Last time I was here it was like 12 degrees and there were clouds everywhere and the visibility was nothing. I'll probably put some photos in so you can see. But today it's a really nice clear day. Summer, it's probably like 20 plus degrees. So it's good. And today we're going to be talking about the differences between making games and making game engines because I feel that that's something that um, well, first of all, people ask me all the time, but also it's something that just in general has changed so much over the years because in the past, I feel like a game and an engine weren't really two distinct parts like they kind of are now. Like it was fine to have kind of, you'd, you'd be building your game and you'd be programming it and there would be tons of stuff that you'd be kind of, like a huge framework that you build around that game. And when you ship the game, you kind of move on to another game. And I mean, of course, you'd reuse code and kind of maybe assets and components from both your previous game onto your next game but you wouldn't really like you wouldn't exactly you wouldn't you wouldn't div you wouldn't have that clear division and distinction between just a normal kind of game and the actual engine the actual core kind of framework the core ar architecture for that game so i think that's something that has changed um quite a lot i almost feel that nowadays the kind of technology base has stabilized to such an extent that it, it makes more sense to write an engine and then maybe build a game on top of that because I mean in the past if you think about how quickly games were evolving and how like how quick new graphics techniques and all of that stuff was kind of coming out people were kind of just getting to grips with programming what what the best way is to kind of structure a game all of that stuff whereas now I feel like the rate of innovation in that specific area has somewhat kind of stabilized. So it's not as, it's not evolving as rapidly, which means that we can kind of settle down, create a base framework, a base engine, and then kind of work off of that and maybe ship, you know, two or three games or more off that same technology base before we decide to kind of rewrite it. So that's definitely something that has kind of, I think, uh, improved or I guess just changed because now it's just the rate of growth is not as fast so you don't really have to be con continually rewriting every game from scratch there's more and more code that you can reuse not to mention games are becoming more complex and we also want to ship more games more often which kind of all all means that it makes much more sense to kind of just stick with a base kind of set of technology and then build off the off of the top of that Furthermore, if you're someone who wants to make a game right now, in 2018, I want to make a game, and you're not a massive kind of AAA sized team, then you don't even have to consider building that base framework because that's been done for you. You can just use a game engine such as Unity and Unreal, which comes with so many tools that means the content creators can kind of just make the game and there's very minimal programming or scripting that you actually need to do, which again is something that is a little bit new. So if your goal is to make a game, that's such a different product than if if you want to make an engine. And I feel like that separation is kind of something that people do need to consider now that they might not have had to 20 years ago or even 10 years ago. So it's quite interesting how the industry has really changed and how the, the kind of, I guess, the art or the craft of making a game has changed so much over seemingly not, not that, that big of a period of time. And so because there's that distinction of games and engines, I feel that people need to kind of decide on what it is they actually want to make because if you're trying to make a game by yourself then you should definitely skip the engine part and just use unity or unreal i even made a video about a year ago about why you definitely should be using a game engine there'll be a link up there but on the other hand if you're more interested in the base technology and engines that's a completely different skill set than what than what you need to actually make a game because nowadays to make a game you just need to learn how to use Unreal or Unity and kind of programming that goes along with that, which is more or less gameplay scripting, right? Like you don't need to learn how to program graphics or kind of, you know, runtime kind of engine loops or platform abstractions or anything like that. You don't need to do any of that because that's already done for you. So really you just need to learn how to actually design your game 
and, and build, the, build the game using the tools that already exist. Whereas making the tools is what engine development is about. And that's just such a completely, that's a completely different topic. It's way, way different and the skill set is different and if you want to get hired for one of those positions, it's going to be completely different. So I feel like you really do need to pick a path between the two. Now of course you could do both. There's nothing wrong with making an engine and then making a game with your engine, that's totally fine as well. But just keep in mind that if your goal is to just make a game, then you should just go ahead and make a game and skip the engine part. Now me personally, and what this channel is about, it's about making engines, right? It's about making that core kind of framework stuff. Because me personally, I'm not really interested in games at all. I don't play any games in my spare time, like ever, pretty much. I used to, there was a time when I was maybe like... 17, 18, like I did play games and I thought that I kind of wanted to make games, but I never really, I was never really interested in that when it actually came down to making games. So I was always more, way more interested in the engine development. And that's kind of what I've based this channel on as well, which is why if you're looking to make games, I mean, you should probably shouldn't be watching videos on this channel unless you just want general education or whatever, you know, if, obviously if you want to learn C++, then it's a good idea to watch my videos. But if you want to make an engine, if you want to make an actual game, then you should just watch someone who makes Unity or Unreal tutorials, right? That's not me. This channel is about making an engine and making the core kind of framework stuff. And even to the point where it doesn't even have to be for a game. Like really at its core, what I like to build and what we are building here on this channel is really just an interactive application with 3D graphics. That's really all it is. A real-time 3D a real-time 3D interactive application. A real-time interactive application with 3D graphics. There we go. Or, one more. Uh, I can't even talk. <laughs> a real... <laughs> There's people around me, like, everywhere, and so I feel like I'm pressured to, like... Because I don't want to... I want to let them pass and not talk here so they don't feel uncomfortable. So there's all that. But anyway, the point, is, the one that, the point that I'm trying to make is on this channel, we're trying to build real-time... 3D applications, and they're interactive. Interactive applications with real-time 3D graphics. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say, that there is that distinction, and I think it's important for you to know what it is that you're kind of trying to do, because that's gonna completely change what you actually learn about, and what you practice, and what you master whether it is that you want to make games or that you want to make engines. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you think about that distinction and the best ways to kind of learn how to do both. Follow me on Instagram. This place is beautiful and I'll be posting so much stuff there. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Link in, on Instagram. My name is The Cherno, by the way. Link in the description below. See you next time. Goodbye.